this week's episode of Batter Up. Today we have junior Joe Betcher with us to expose some secrets about himself and his teammates. Joe, you ready? Ready to go. Characterize the role you play on the baseball team on and off the field. Um, on the field, I play third base. Hit pretty much everywhere in the order, kind of mix it up. Off the field, uh, I'm an older guy, kind of just set a good example for the younger guys. Who's your all-time favorite player? All-time favorite player? I'd have to say Evan Longoria for the Rays right now. I just like the way, like the way he plays. He's the only guy in baseball who I really will really stop to watch their swing just because it's so pretty. And uh, he plays third base as well, so I kind of watch him, try to see what he does over there. What is your favorite baseball moment? I'd have to say my junior year of high school, we were playing, we were the number two team in the state number one team in the state in summer ball and we lost to them the first game of the tournament and then came back and had to beat them twice to win state and we ended up doing it and then after we won we found out that we were flying to Ohio for the uh, nationals so I think I think flying was probably what I was most excited about first time doing it but no that was definitely probably one of the coolest moments what is your favorite restaurant in Chicago Ooh, I know Portillo's a popular one. Um, I like Pompeii a lot. I'll probably go with Pompeii just because uh, it's close. I can walk there, and they have red cream soda, which I think is the only place I've ever seen to have that. So I usually go there, have about 10 glasses of that, walk out feeling nauseous, but that's what, probably my favorite. If you can eat one food for the rest of your life, what would it be? I was actually talking about this the other day. When I go home, I either ask my dad to make lasagna or enchiladas. They're both good. Uh, I'd go with lasagna, definitely. My dad's an awesome cook, so I'll give him a little shout out here. I'm sure he'll appreciate it. But lasagna, my dad's lasagna. If you could ask any five people, dead or alive, to dinner, who would they be? Uh, the Sandlot Gang, in their prime. Probably more than five, I know it is more than five, but the Sandlot Gang plus Wendy Peppercorn. What is your all-time favorite movie? The Sandlot, right there. Uh, since I was little, in uh, my mom's Windstar, the soccer mom van, we had the screen that was about yay big in the back. VHS, Sandlot was in all the time. We'd be going on a 10-minute trip, and I'd throw it in. Loved it. Do you have any hidden talents or skills you'd like to share with us? <sighs> Sadly, I don't think I do. Um, sometimes I can blow bubbles with my tongue, but if I were to try to do it right now, I couldn't, because whenever people watch, I can't. But um, I don't think so. If you weren't playing baseball, what sport would you play? Hockey. I don't think I'd be any good at it, but I love it. It's awesome. Um, they can just go out there and fight whenever they want. It's acceptable. Awesome to me. Um, but yeah, and their hair is awesome, and they can just let us do whatever they want. Whereas Mike D doesn't really let us grow our hair out very much. If you could have any superhero power, which would you choose and why? <laughs> um, I don't know if this is superhero power, but I'd want to be able to have like ice form in front of me and just be able to ice skate wherever I wanted to. I know flying's awesome, all that stuff's awesome, but I think being able to do that whenever I wanted to would be pretty sweet. Most athletes have a pregame ritual or superstition they do before a game. Do you have any? I do. I have a lot of them. They kind of change. Um, if I remember maybe putting my right sock on before my left the previous game and I had a good game, I'll do that. Um, just anything I can remember. Uh, one thing I do every game is put eye black on. I got a little ritual with Pat, the trainer, gives me the eye black and then I meet Colin Wire in the bathroom. Act like it's on accident every time, but we know exactly what's going on. So. That's the only one I do every single game. Otherwise, I just think back to what I think worked 
probably wasn't the reason at all for us winning or playing well, but it's just I'm really superstitious about everything. What are three attributes you look for in a dream girlfriend? Um, good personality. Got to be funny, make me laugh. I like eyes a lot and a good smile. What is your biggest pet peeve? Uh, biggest one is when a pitcher touches my bat. I don't know what it is about it. I just, it bugs me. Like uh, the other day we were at Butler, Tim Siminski, I see him. They have a little putting green in their indoor facility. And I couldn't find my bat. And I look over and he's using it as a golf club. So I was pretty upset about it. But that's probably my biggest pet peeve. What is one thing you can't leave the house without? Phone and wallet, because uh, I'm always at the cafe, I don't have my iCard, I panic, and uh, people really don't try to get a hold of me ever, but if I don't have my phone, I just feel like I'm missing out on something awesome, but I probably am not. What is the most played song on your iPod? Um, I probably don't have one. I'm a big Eli Young band guy right now, uh, listen to them a lot. Casey Donahue band, um, probably those two groups, but Call Me Maybe, After a Win, I like to listen to that a lot, that's her win song, so that kind of gets me excited, I know it's kind of corny, but it's catchy, and, uh, you probably catch me listening to that by myself a few times. Who on the team is most likely to star in a reality TV show? You know, Hoffman's a big answer. I'm not going to go with Hoffman because I think he tries to give that vibe that he would do well. I'm going to say Carl just because uh, he has that weird haircut going. He's got this weird style. He's wearing like Pokemon backpacks or something. I don't know what it is. But I feel like he would he'd be pretty popular. Who do you think has the best hair on the team? <laughs> oh man. I try to get people to say I do. Uh, Al Kurich definitely does have the best hair. Pretty jealous of him. Um, I'll go with Kurich. Kills me to say it. Kills me, but Al Kurich. Who do you think the most studious person on the team is? We've got a lot of them. Got a lot of them. I'd say Colin Wire. He's, uh, he's my roommate in our kitchen. We call it the study zone. I feel like he's in there all the time. If I don't see him in there, he's in the port center. So uh, takes a lot of pride in it. Respect him for it, but yeah. A lot of people said Addison for this one, but which of your teammates calls his parents every day? Ryan Boss. I think he doesn't, nobody notices it. Um, he doesn't talk to him for a long time. It might be a minute or two conversation, but I feel like whenever I'm with him, he's calling his mom or dad ask him a question that really isn't important. I think he just misses them a lot, so he likes to hear their voice, but Ryan Boss. Who is always on his phone or computer? I'd have to say Alex Urich is always on his phone. He's always playing draw something, words with friends, whatever. I know those iPhones have got it all. I'm still on the Blackberry. I can't do all that cool stuff, but having a conversation with him and he's always got his face buried in the phone. Um, Alex Urich. Mike Schoolcraft, you're the next batter up.